Broccoli, chicken, cheddar. Today's supper. Broccoli, chicken, cheddar. Let's go. Chicken. Two pounds of chicken. Diced, cut up, whatever texture that you want. I cut these a little big because I want good meaty pieces of chicken. They go in to a cast iron skillet and where they will be cooked almost done. Chicken in the cast iron skillet. Chicken will be cooked before it's just basically done inside the chicken. One teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of smoked paprika. Broccoli. I put this broccoli up. There's 10 ounces of broccoli there. You can use store broccoli. You can use fresh broccoli. This is going to be 10 ounces in this recipe. This goes into a, bag, into a bowl of water in the bag until it's soft. One medium purple onion. Diced. That chicken is almost done. We cooked it covered. Pour in the onions. Cover it back. Stir it about every two minutes for two minutes for the next ten minutes. Medium stock pot. To that medium stock pot, put in two cups of chicken broth. This is homemade chicken broth. You can dip it in the can too. And then put in one sixteen ounce bottle of whole heavy whipping cream. Put in the whipping cream, the chicken broth on the stove, bring it to a little slight simmer, three tablespoons, all-purpose flour. Incorporate with a whisk, bring to a simmer with the flour in it. Remember our broccoli? Take the broccoli. It's made two and a half cups. Our roux is the right consistency. Got it stirred up with our whisk. Add our two and a half cups of broccoli. Reduce the heat. The chicken is done. That two pounds of chicken made three and a half cups. I'm gonna add my three and a half cups of my chicken. Get all the juices in there that was that chicken cooked in. Give a small little stir. Hit a little more. Let's sit for 20 minutes. Add in one quarter cup of orange juice. Stir. And add one cup mild cheddar cheese. Two tablespoons of butter. And then a little dehydrated or sun dried tomato. These were tomatoes that I dehydrated out of the garden. I'm going to put in what I think is about a good big tablespoonful. That's about all. And if you have never tried dehydrated tomato or sun dried tomato, sun dried is just as good. Dehydrated is as good. It's the same. It's just sun dried, it stores so high. So I always dehydrate mine. But one little old bitty dried tomato slice is bursting with flavor. We're just about ready for toast. Your hoagie bun is lightly, lightly put a little mayonnaise on your hoagie bun there. Now you're saying, why don't you use butter? You're fixing to see why I don't use butter. Hit it with a little garlic. That right there is what you get. That's what you get. See what that looks like when you do that? Uh, use a little bit of mayonnaise instead of butter. And it's really good. Let's try this real quick. Probably still pretty hot. A string of cheese. 
Oh my. <laughs> That's good. That'll make you take stuff back to Jane even stole. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you try this. This is re you won't be sorry you've done this. This is really, really good. Between the odd things like the mayo on the bread for toasting it and a little bit of that orange juice in there and the roux makes a lot of difference. This is really good. Hey, remember, we love you. Stay safe. If you need help, reach out. Bye.